pictures. Have you ever declared war on another nation? We declared war on East Germany, as a matter of fact. And I will tell you all about the East German War here in a short Actually, might be Portuguese. I don't know. He's too old to try. This is Che, so I'm like, mm -hmm. I don't know this one. You can load up, absolutely. Anyway, that's where the Molossian time capsule is. Uh, we bury our time capsule in and then dig it up about every four years on leap day. And so we just dug it up about two months ago, a month and a half, a peace pole. We are dedicated to peace, and it says so. Well, maybe because it says so. In eight different languages, some of which are uh, because they're like family languages, like my uh, our Italian, our family's Italian, we'll have Italian in there. But also because of some of the more common languages like Chinese and Russian and so forth. And these are actually fairly common to be found in in churchyards and fraternal organizations and so forth like that. Peace pole dedicated to peace. However, we are, as you are probably aware on some level, currently at war with see our money. It's called the Pandora. It is actually based on cookie dough, chocolate chip cookie dough to be exact. <laughs> we don't have the gold or silver standard. We have the cookie dough standard because it tastes a lot better. So, and if you look in there, you can see some of the cookie dough. Now, it's not real. It would go bad really quick. But anyway, step on up, and we also do some more banknotes and coins. So, if you want to buy some more? Yeah. Micronations tend to come and go with amazing speed, really, really, really fast, which is one of the main reasons that we do not engage in formal diplomacy with other micronations because they don't go too quick. You can't keep track. You had a country, now you don't. You know, that kind of thing. So let's go this way. This is our principal monument. It's called the Heroes Monument. And uh, down below there, you see the various heroes that we have. Uh, Malasia. This is also sort of, sort of like our all-purpose. If we're going to have some sort of ceremony, we come here to the uh, Heroes <laughs> Monument. Our, uh, Rabbits, uh, a couple small dogs. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Anyway, and, and also there in the middle, see the monument to the unknown Molossian. Don't ask me who the unknown Molossian is. He's unknown. <laughs> then you're gonna follow the chief constable. She's gonna take you on the tour right away. You know where you're going? Oh, there. Also, the original location of the Tower of the Winds, and you'll know all about that in a minute when we get to the Tower of the Winds. And then you're like, oh, I've been there. All right, that's cool. So let's go on down this way. I'll leave you there. All right, so this is Malasia's space monument. Rocks make terrible things to sit on. Anyway, you want to watch out for that snake behind you, too. Ah, but you look. Anyway, this is Malasia's space monument. As mentioned before, we do have a pretty active space program. We launch rockets all the time. 
uh, actually very small ones, and occasionally we have visitors that would like to come and uh, be a part of that, and it's not logistically possible. Most of our rocket launches actually take place out there, past that hill, there's a dry lake bed called Mystic Flats. Uh, there's not a lot of, uh, of uh, un underbrush there or, or bushes or anything, and so there's nothing to set fire. Set fire in the desert is a really, really, really big deal. You don't want to set fire to the desert, that's a very bad thing. And so uh, we go out there and do that. We can't really launch rockets here. We probably will try. Uh, we'll also end up probably losing it someplace. At any rate, for those folks that would like to participate in our space program, uh, we uh, put this in. <laughs> Five years ago, we were visited by a group from a website called thatguywiththeglasses.com, and basically, uh, is a large group of nerdy, nerdy folks that review uh, movies and video games and so forth like that. And they gather from all over the world once a year, someplace. And that year was 2012. No, I think it was 10. Okay. Yeah, 2010. They came to Malasia, and they made a movie. Basically throwing me out as the dictator, hmm. installing one of their guys, their main guy, as the new dictator. Then there's a little infighting and so forth, back and forth. And then they put me back in because they decided they, they just can't handle it. Plus, it's time for them to go. So we got a lot of a uh, lot of attention from that movie. It's actually a lot of fun. It really is very, very different. The guys are really super cool. It attracted they, they, a different crowd to Malasi than once. Yeah. <sighs> and it works. <laughs> Just checking it out. All right, so yeah. oh, not a good start. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. Irene's in two places at once. <laughs>